change up to the dyno today. Um, as you know, or you may not know, these windshields on these crater fairings are kind of crap. Um, you can barely see through them. Uh, the uh, thickness of them is really, really bad and they do buffer uh, like crazy. And with my new helmet that I have, uh, the Race Star, it, it significantly helped out the buffering, but there's still a little bit there on longer trips at higher speeds and stuff like that. So, um, one of the things I wanted to try out was try out another windshield. And what I'm thinking, my logic, is this little lip um, is kind of buffering the air more than it should. So, there's not very many companies that, out there that offer a replacement windshield. Um, I believe JD Customs and a handful of other guys, maybe Villain 2 Hero, uh, they do make some shields. Most of them you have to drill yourself um, and you know they're, they're about 100 bucks or more for just the windshield. Um, the other day I actually checked, we, we used to be able to get these whole fairings with the windshield and mounting kits and everything for about 80 bucks and they have them up. They're like 150 bucks now just like everything else in this world right now. So. Um, yeah, with, with a little bit of look in, found another company, I'll put the link in the bio, that, that makes a couple different uh, windshield sizes for these. And my thinking was, if I can get rid of this lip and go a little bit shorter on the windshield, it might help out. Um, you know, with, with the wind hitting straight at you, uh, I was thinking maybe that would be less buffering and just more, you know, pressure. So, you know, it's, it's an experiment, you know, with the windshields and, you know, the heights of people and everything else, your helmets, all that stuff matters when it comes into the buffering. So, um, let's grab this windshield and I'll, sh I'll show you what we got here. So, so yeah, this is the windshield. Um, it's a lot darker, as you can see, holding up to the next one, um, than, than these craters, and it's a lot thicker. Um, I don't know if that'll show up on there, but yeah, it's it's a way thicker than this, and it's just a little bit shorter. It kind of takes this uh, lip out of the equation. So the other thing I wanted to mention was uh, they include these bottom grommets, uh, but not the top ones. And I just went on Amazon and, and searched uh, O-rings um, grommets and. They sell assortments of all different sizes, and I just got a big assortment and, you know, found some that fit these top ones. So it's literally just two bolts at the bottom, two bolts at the top, and we'll get this new windshield on here, and hopefully it does a trick for my buffering. So cue time lapse. So that's it guys, got it all installed. Um, the bolts, 
holes in the fairing really didn't line up. I had to adjust a couple things um, to get it to line up. But yeah, I kind of dig the look of it. Uh, it's definitely a lot more sturdy than the old one. Um, I did notice when I took the old one off that these these holes were starting to get those cracks that develop on on those other windshields. So uh, we'll give this a run and and see how I like it. Uh, when I sit on the bike, I can definitely see way farther over it now. So um, that's definitely good. And and it looks like it looks like if I have to look behind it. Um, it doesn't look as bad as the other fairing, but, but yeah, all installed guys and appreciate the support. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. If you like these videos, tell your friends and we have a couple more things to do to the Dyna before we get out and road test it. The, uh, roads here have been kind of crazy. It's been snowing a couple times, so, uh, we've been locked in, but yeah, as always like comment, subscribe, and we'll see you guys on the next video. Take it easy.